Hi guys, Dean here from We Coach Crypto. Fun show from We Coach Crypto. And if you guys have not already heard, there is a lot of talk in the town about Barclays Bank now banning the crypto exchange Binance. So, okay, let's quickly go into why this happened, what's going on, how do we get around it? You know, we thought Binance is a massive, massive exchange. And why is Barclays, the bank, banning um, uh, Binance and they're not banned Coinbase? Well, they, they might do in the future, we don't know, or banned Kraken. Okay. Um, Fungi, you're probably better to go into why, you know, we believe that they're banned Binance in the UK for UK customers to put pounds onto the exchange and obviously, you know, fund their account with pounds. Definitely. So, one thing that I want to do, I'm just going to share my screen with you guys so that you can see. Um, we'll start off with okay, the fact that the FCA, okay, this is on BBC News, okay, so watchdog clamps down on cryptocurrency exchange, Bali has, Bali has the world's biggest crypto exchange, been issued a warning by the UK's financial regulator, which is the Financial Conduct Authority. Now, all of this looks extremely scary extremely bad but what you guys are not understanding is this is specifically for Binance Markets Limited which is the UK limited company that Binance sets up in order to offer certain um, currency related services to individual customers in the UK right but Binance as a whole are a completely different organization they can't be banned in that sense so what we've seen is a lot of people obviously panicking they're worried because they're not able to deposit funds onto their account they're not able to withdraw funds to their account but it's something that we've seen previously with other exchanges and it's not something to get yourself all het up and worried about it's an extremely easy fix for this and I do believe in the very near future, Binance will come out with a solution to get this in place. What they've kind of been doing um, with uh, Chang Zeng uh, CZ, if you if you know him, he's the owner of Binance. Uh, Binance Group, if you can see here, it's currently based in the Cayman Islands. So Binance Markets Limited is an affiliate firm based in London. And the firm has multiple entities dotted around the world and Binance Group was previously based in Malta. So it's one part of Binance's company that they've set up that the FCA have banned. All right. So in terms of us getting fiat onto this app now and into your account, it's caused a little bit of an issue, but it's very easy to get around. So just before we go into the fix, Monjo, um let's just go into a couple of reasons as to why they might have done this and you know why we, we could go down as far as do going down the conspiracy theory route and you know things like that but you know barclays saying that they're protecting their customers and you know the fca is saying they're protecting the public but i think it might be a little bit more to it than that i think it you know there are other exchanges that haven't had this same ban um i don't believe Binance are doing anything wrong, in my opinion. I believe that they're a great company. I believe that they're a very safe exchange. I've been using them. They've got the best fees there for traders and just people that just buying cryptos in general to hold long term. The fees are great. The, uh, the, the, the platform's brilliant to use. The support's really great. They do things very quickly. Um, so, you know, I don't agree with what Barclays Bank are doing. I don't agree with what the FCA are doing at all here. I believe they're trying to bully Binance. Um, in my opinion, that's just purely my opinion, I believe they're trying to bully Binance. Um, and they're trying to deter people from using Binance. And I, I don't get why, but nevertheless, there is there is fixes around it. Um, if we want to go down the conspiracy you know, theory route, I believe that the banks don't want to give control to Binance and let go of any control they've got because obviously, you know, Barclays Bank don't ban you for going on to Ladbrook. You know, they're saying that they want to protect you and they're saying that they want to, you know, they're there to help their customers. Well, you know, look at all the people that go onto these gambling sites and lose all their money. They don't, they've got no asset at the end of it, especially with crypto. You've got the asset, you've got Bitcoin, you've got Ethereum, you've got the, the underlying asset of the crypto that you, you own. 
but with gambling sites, they don't tell you if they if they cared about you that much, they they they'd, they'd stop you from buying expensive stuff because they're saying you're wasting your money. But I don't think it's that. I just don't think that that banks actually like um, the fact that crypto is getting so big and that people are leaving banks now to invest into crypto and keeping their money in crypto and not got it on the, the banks anymore. That's what I believe one of the reasons are. I'm sure there's many more and I'm sure they're using some of the regulations and people have been robbed through crypto and this, that, and the other. There's danger in any industry you go into. Um, I do believe there does, does need to be regulation. There does need to be people kept safe. But I do believe that this is a bully, bullying tactic uh, um, towards Binance and um, I hope they do get through it because it's a great exchange and it's you know it's so easy to use and I believe that they look after all their customers and, and they they try and keep their customers as safe as possible they make you do you know uh, two-factor authentication they make sure you go through um, vigorous you know chaos yeah all yeah. that kind of stuff so I don't believe I don't believe you know they're all that bad that they're making out um, but the fix is very easy like you know it's as simple as I'll, I'll quickly go through it now, but I'm sure Funcho will go into more detail. Just go to Kraken, open up account, put your pounds in there, send the tether over to your uh, Binance, job done. Straight round, you're straight round all this loophole. You're straight round all this headache of Barclays banning you. You know, Barclays haven't banned Kraken or Coinbase. Go on to Coinbase. Coinbase is a lot more expensive than Binance. Buy tether, send the safe. You're going to say you're going you're to put £1,000 into um crypto but you all the coins you want are on binance um i would be buying it on coinbase and send it right over to binance buying the cryptos that i wanted or if i was trading do the trade on there because crypto to crypto is still is still is still fine it's just pounds onto binance in or out of binance is where we've got the problem at the moment um and yeah that's pretty much it isn't it unless yeah. you want to go into I mean, more detail there, there, this is something that we've already covered guys where we We've said about the fix it's on previous videos that we've done but um we sort of feel the need to go into a little bit more detail with you guys so that you actually understand what to do and understand that this ban with binance it doesn't mean binance are going anywhere they're not going anywhere at all one thing that you guys have got to remember is this was always and still is a decentralized exchange so it came out without the ability of anyone to be able to put pounds dollars euros any fiat currency on this exchange to buy you had to get your bitcoin from somewhere else and then you could use binance to be able to trade your bitcoin for lots of other different cryptocurrencies they've evolved along the way and they now allow people to use dollars on there and they did have pounds on there but that pounds issue has been sort of removed away from them temporarily and there's a lot of news about this and people are getting all worried but there's nothing wrong with your crypto you can trade all your crypto that's fine i just wanted to share as well just so people can see it says here barclays blocks customers from sending funds to binance and you know that does come across as a scary prospect if you're someone that's got you know substantial amounts of money in cryptocurrency that's sat on, on the Binance exchange and you're thinking, well, how do I get my money out if you wanted to? And it is such a simple fix for us because this is what we do day in, day out. But I understand it's scary for a lot of people. I mean, it, it says here, you can see, the measure affects more than 24 million Barclays customers at worldwide level. And the banking giant cites the warning that Financial Conduct Authority, FCA, has issued against Binance last week. So, you know, I do get why people are panicking a bit. But what you've got to understand is, let me just share this page with you guys. Okay, stop that one. It's literally as simple as Dean said, by going onto, onto Coinbase, okay, just go on to coinbase.com. This is the website address. Or download the app, okay, coinbase.com, and then just get started. Sign up with them. It's a very similar process. If anything, it's probably slightly easier setting up with Coinbase compared to Binance. It's just Binance fees are much cheaper, and it's a better exchange. Oh, market. without a doubt, without a doubt. And it's got more selection for the market. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. The reason Binance has become so popular is it gives you the most reach of the entire crypto marketplace. So you will hear, as you're getting more and more into this space, about certain coins that come out, and you'll think, oh, yeah, I wouldn't mind buying some of that. Coinbase probably won't have it available, whereas Binance are more likely to. So as a result of that, 
people were using Binance, but because of this ban, they think, well, I can't use it now. And that's not the case. It's literally a matter of set up an account with Coinbase, make sure you've connected your bank. You can also use a debit card as well, but it works out more expensive. Yeah, so you're better off using a that. bank transfer because you're going to save money doing that. And then, as Dean said, you would just literally buy some USDT, also known as Tether, okay? Stable Once, coin. Yeah, stable coin. So you're not going to have volatility moving up and down. Once you've bought that, you're literally going to go onto your Binance account, get your Tether wallet address. And the, the way that you would do that is you would go onto Binance, go to wallet, go to deposit, and then go to USDT to get your wallet address, copy that, and then come back to Coinbase. And you'd want to trade your USDT on Coinbase to be able to send it over to your Binance wallet. And you just type in your amount, hit send, do your two-factor authentication, that USDT would then arrive at Binance, allowing you to then go and buy other cryptocurrencies and trade the market. So essentially what we're doing here, guys, is the bit where you're getting your pound into crypto and your pounds out of crypto, we're just using Coinbase for opposed to using Binance. We're still using Binance to do all the trading or buying all the cryptos, even holding the cryptos on there if that's something you want to do. Obviously, we always say for long-term investors that they um, use a hardware wallet. But, you know, if it's, you know, you still want to use Binance to hold your crypto on, which is safe, not safe as a hardware wallet, obviously, but still safe. Um, you can do so. And, you know, when you when it when it comes to a point, so say you put a thousand pounds and that thousand pounds has gone to three, four, five or whatever it is, the figure that you want to be um, putting it back into pounds with. You just take that. You just take all that crypto, tether it back up against Tether uh, into Tether and send that Tether back to Coinbase and cash it up back in pounds. Easy fix. Exactly. So. That's it. As, as far as we're concerned, there's no more ban on Binance because we've found a way around it. It's, it's a very simple way. A lot of people are already doing it. We just thought we'd get it out there for you guys in our mastermind group on our YouTube for our YouTube followers. As well, guys, if you like our videos, can you please uh, click the subscribe um, button down below. Um, click the, the bell for notifications so all our videos will come up. And if you like what we're doing, please give us a like. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank Take you. Care. Have a great day. Cheers.